What's going on guys? Young Ramsey in this bitch and today we're talking about the brand new update which was announced for Smash Brothers for Wii U 3DS and it's going to be happening on the uh, 20, excuse me, the 31st of July. Um, 21st already passed. Anyways, now this is huge news because there's a lot of stuff that's included in this and so many of you dudes were talking to me about it um, a few hours ago. This was all announced on Japan time on the, one of the Japan's official Smash Brothers pages. So you know how Sakurai has his official page. Smash Brothers has its own official page which is verified so everything is official. It's also on their Facebook page as well too for the Americans. So let's get into the details right now because I know a lot of you dudes have wanted me to talk about this and I, I have to get on this shit right away. So if we go to Twitter I have a couple of these posts lined up so you guys can see exactly what's going on now as you can see right here uh, obviously we can't understand what this is saying we can try a Google Translate or a Bing Translate but on, basically it's easy enough to understand though I mean I mean you don't really have to understand what you're reading here in order to be able to get the message on July 31st is going to be a massive Smash Brothers update and this comes at the same time as around a huge Splatoon update as well too so there's a lot of fresh content coming our way we have both of those games on the Wii U and um, this one says something about tournament features which is great finally um, replay posting on YouTube which is something we've all been and anticipating I really want to try that feature out myself just to see how you know viable it is and if it is viable um, will it be you know subject to like copyright or whatever the case may be for smaller youtubers because if you didn't know us bigger youtubers we have like a little bit of a ways of bypassing that through verified um, and then we have um, replay posting features plus additional content. And by the way, I am still verified. I'm the young Ramsey in this bitch. Um, you just can't see it. Anyways, so we also have Mii Fighter costumes and stages. Now, this is the stuff where a lot of people are getting excited because we actually have two new Mii Fighter outfits announced. And I can already I can already taste the saltiness in the air. Niggas is salty about these two Mii Fighter outfits because they basically are King K. Rule and motherfucking Crumb. This shitted on everyone's parade who wanted King K. Rule to be in the game because this basically deconfirms him. They wouldn't be making, well, then again, I don't know. You can't say for a fact because, I mean, they do have a Mega Man me costume, even though it's not the same Mega Man, but still, maybe he still has a chance to be in the game, but at this point now, I feel like it's a wrap. King K. Rule confirms to be a me fighter outfit in Smash Brothers. It's done. And Krom also getting it? This is Sakurai's way of saying, this is all you're gonna get, bitches deal with it and I, I feel bad for them I, I feel so bad for the King K rule guys most probably the reason why there are me fighter outfits is because maybe they aren't in the front of the ballot I can see that as being the only reason maybe King K rule scored high in the ballot but maybe he didn't come out on top at least with the results that they have so far right now or maybe he has and Sakurai decided to still make a Mii Fighter costume of him. But there's no way that King K. Rule has a Mii Fighter outfit on him right now if there wasn't a lot of people demanding him in the first place. Krom as well too. Which goes to show us that maybe Krom and King K. Rule have the same amount of demand for both characters. Most likely that's the case because if they're being released together as Mii Fighters in a patch like this, then that can only mean that they're pretty much seen in equal standings in terms of being in the game in Sakurai's eyes. So guys, that's it. No King K. Rule. But I think this makes things a little bit more interesting now because who the hell is running that ballot right now? What are the results looking like? Is it Rayman? Who is it that's in the front? I'm, I, I implore you all to listen to me on this. There is nowhere on the internet that has official, like 100% verified ballot standings right now. Everywhere that you've seen is either someone faking it or just fan polls. There's no one that knows the true results of the actual ballot itself. Nintendo hasn't released anything, Sora hasn't released anything, and Sakurai Damager hasn't talked about anything with it. So we don't know who's running that ballot. It could be a character that could surprise a lot of us. Um, we can ask, you know, who the most popular character is at the end of the day that we want to see in the ballot, but we don't know. And apparently it ain't King K. Rule, and apparently it ain't Krom. So I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm using the assumption that, you know, them being Mii Fighter costumes usually means they're not going to be in the game. I think that's a very decent presumption to make, guys. I don't think I'm overstepping my boundaries with that. Um, that's the case, though. That's the case. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm glad to see Krom in some form or fashion. The costume for the Mii Fighter with Krom actually does look pretty damn good, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not even going to lie with you there. Um, it looks great. They, they have the Falchion, the Falchion, and they also have um, everything about his costume is pretty goddamn accurate. So I'm impressed with it. It just sucks that we don't get him in actuality, but still, the costumes are done really well. King K. Rule looks good, too. Um, the ones where they have their head cut off, oh, the one where they're not human, always looks a little strange on the Mii Fighters, but this is still fine. Um, 
But yeah, what do you guys think about this? What are you taking from this? Uh, I'll, there's some more details to talk about as well, too. Like, um, for instance, there's some, new, there's some new Mii costumes in general, not just the, um, the Mii fighters in terms of Krom and uh, King K. They also got, uh, you know, these new ones with, like, hoodies and sweatpants, apparently. So they, there's a whole plethora of new content coming out for this thing on the 31st, man. A lot to look forward to, guys. And stages as well, too. Now, remember, in one of the previous directs, Sakurai did mention he was going to try to bring back some of them old classic stages that we all know and love, and that's definitely being the case. In fact, there's some stages that are leaked right now, which include a Dr. Mario stage and some other things as well, too. So I'm not going to post the leaks right away because, obviously, I know Nintendo usually goes after nutsacks for that whole thing, but um, I'll make a video talking about them, and we can look at them in detail. I just won't be able to show them, per se. But still, we do have these official screenshots from the stages that are going to be making a comeback from the original Smash 64, um, and they look damn good. Well, not damn good, but I mean, I'm happy that they're making a return. Um, I don't know, was this stage legal? I don't think this one was legal. <laughs> um, but still, it doesn't matter. The fact that we're getting these old stages back to the forefront is pretty cool as well, too. And uh, apparently there's also a leak that shows that we're going to be getting um, the Great Bay from Melee back into um, the stage list. So there's a lot of things that happened within the last five hours. A lot of leaks and a lot of official information given as well, too, as well as some hearts being broken and erections being cracked in half. I, I, I just want to get a rest in peace in the fucking comments right now for any King K. Rule supporters because the game is done, man. It's over. He's, he, it's over. You tried. You tried your hardest. The ballot didn't work out for him this time around. Maybe the next game he'll get in. Maybe not. Um, I feel bad for the Kron people as well, too, because I know a lot of people were vying for him, and it just didn't happen. I wonder just where the hell that ballot is going. Who is running that shit right now? I hope Nintendo at some point informs us as to what's going on, but for now, all we can do is cross our fingers. King K rules out. Krom is out. Who else is in that thing? Maybe Wolf? Maybe Snake? Maybe they're going to bring back a veteran with a ballot. Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised at that, but... Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this whole thing. Um, I'm surprised, to be honest with you. I mean, even though I knew King K. Rule wasn't a character that I wanted to be in, I knew a lot of people wanted him in regardless, and I thought he ran the ballot. I thought he did. Every single fake fan theory or a poll that people did on the internet showed King K. in the front. So the fact that he's not in the front in actuality, things are getting edgy for me, man. I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.